Okay, some workings. Now when the coin is dropped into the slot, you can see it'll fall down and depress that lever there. And once that lever is depressed, you can see that'll raise, lift the ball up and it drops into that little hopper waiting to be picked up by the back mechanism. And checking the back of the machine, you'll see this crank will let the lever come down, which will pick the ball up. And as it does, so at the top, you'll see the top lever will push the ball off into the oscillating carriage. And here we have the mechanism for oscillating the table. You can see the crank mechanism there. As it turns, it oscillates the top table. And in the far background, right in there, there's a freewheel mechanism. So when I turn it this way, the back crank and the table oscillate. But if I turn it in this direction, only the table oscillates. The freewheel mechanism stops the bank crank from operating. So once the ball has successfully got into the wind slot, it'll drop down this hole here and you can see there's a lever right down inside there. The ball will depress that lever. And if we just turn it, there goes the lever and the ball is held in position. So by depressing this lever, it's caused this whole mechanism here to twist slightly and this part has dropped down onto another lever which is directly inside. And we'll look around the other side, you'll be able to see that lever in just a second. And here's a lever in the back. When the ball trips it like that, it releases everything and you can now get the candies out. And you can see when you pull the lever in the front, this piece will come forward and pull the candies out and you win your treat.